Hello! Uh, I've been doing a lot of hammering copper lately and I've got this small piece here and I've got a picture of a Neanderthal skull and I've got some little cutters I made here out of tool steel they're all different size ones and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these cutters to hammer this uh, copper skull and uh, then hopefully make it into a badge so let's see how that goes So I have the piece I've just hammered here now and I'm just going to heat it up and then when it changes colour I'm just going to stick it in the water, quench it and then just see and you can see it changes colour there and then I'm going to just you see the colour change I'm just going to wire wool it now So here's the skull now. I quite like uh, the look of them. I like the brow ridges here, Neanderthal brow ridges, and his teeth look okay. So what I've used is I have these little tools here, which I've made out of tool steel. They're off cuts, as you can see. They're all weird shapes. So I have three. Um, if that'll focus, three little uh, tiny ones here, tiny cutters, which I use for doing uh, lines and edges, things like that. I have some round ones, which I use, the little tiny ones I use for doing the back of the teeth. 
and then I've got bigger round ones I can use for eyes or doing um, large areas like the skull I do the round ones on the back this round one, no sharp edges I have some ones for flattening areas uh, this one um, for where it's it's not really too important and then I've got this one which is uh, round on this side straight on that side so I can use it for areas like this where I want to get up to a line but then I want to actually flatten on the other side without any damage to this side and then for going around the edge I have this one here which I made which is just a a cutter and I use that for actually cutting around the edge um, because I wouldn't be able to use the steel snips so I use this one for cutting around the edge or for putting um, if you can see your very fine lines in or for doing hair or feathers or things like that I use this little fine and you have to be careful though because it can cut through so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, glue this to a piece of leather and then it would be able to be used as a patch um, I'll just clean off the back um, wire wool it a bit on the back use some contact adhesive onto a piece of leather I've finished um, my Neanderthal skull now here he is so what I did was I had some uh, leather offcuts uh, Apican Fabrics in Manchester do lots of leather 14 pounds a kilo, really good deal, you go select what you want and I just used some contact adhesive and I've just uh, glued it on the back and it's quite strong there and I've just punched some holes around that I can then stitch it onto a jacket or something or on a bag so I think it looks quite nice so that's just the raw copper with a bit of heat effect uh, showing the pearlescence this one is one where I used ammonia and vinegar and salt which reacts with the copper to give you this the nice greens so it kind of highlights the low areas and this one here, uh, Sabre Tooth I've sprayed it with just standard car matte black paint and then I've just used some wire wool uh, to pick out pick out the areas here the highlighted areas so uh, there's lots of different ways you can um, you can work with the copper when you're finished so I hope you've enjoyed that and uh, maybe you'll go get some copper off eBay or Amazon 0.9 mil thick this is copper sheet and just try when I started off um, I was just using a screwdriver to hammer and now I've got um, a whole stack of little bits I've made out of tool steel so start with the basics and then see how far you can get if you want to see how I did the colouring with the ammonia of one on a sugar skull which shows that and I have another one on copper patinas and I've got uh, the sugar one also shows how I made uh, some of my tools so uh, thanks for watching if you like that click the the like button and maybe even subscribe and I'll see you again on the next one thanks